Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and today we are going to be reviewing my 2015 Porsche Panamera Turbo and I'm actually going to be trading this car in for a different car. So let's do a review on this and then we'll reveal what kind of car I'm getting next. Alright, so let's talk interior about this car. I like it. It's impressive. Like the buttons, the quality, the, the buttons. <laughs> finish. Like, wow, guys. Yeah. Like, like, okay, if you compare this to the interior of the BMW, mm -hmm. it makes the BMW look like a Honda. Yeah. Although I will say, I do agree with, I do agree with that, but the infotainment on this thing, yeah. it's outdated. Like, I paid, because the 2015 does not come with Apple CarPlay, I paid $400 to have Apple CarPlay installed on this thing, and I still have, like, the ugly, like, tuner, like, media, like, phone buttons. It's just, it's very outdated looking. But after I installed the CarPlay, it was perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, definitely helped a lot. And I think the thing about all the buttons, I first, when I first bought it, I was like, oh, this is intimidating. There's a lot of different buttons, yeah. but it's really cool. I've actually really enjoyed it. And you, you memorize, you start to memorize where everything is, so it yeah. works out good. The fit and finish of this is probably the nicest of the cars that I've seen. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Even for as old as it is, like, it's got some really nice trim. There's no hard plastics. Yeah, the carbon fiber trim yeah, is I mean, really nice. The, but, I mean, look, let's be honest. The MSRP on this brand new was, what, like $130,000? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a significant chunk higher than the BMW's MSRP new, I think, is probably in the mm. 90s, I've had to guess, for, like, an M550i. I do feel like interior-wise that you do get more with this, though. You absolutely like do. Like, you have, like, um, AC and heating cooling systems in the back. Yep. They all... Everyone has their own AC system. And they it's have their own crazy. fan speed. I would say my favorite thing about this car, outside-wise, not interior-wise, is I love the handling of the car. Mm. It's like, even though it's a big four-door sedan, it just... It handles so well. So yeah, well. I would agree. Yeah. Even... It's not, like, real, like... um. Like, the turning points aren't very sharp. Like, it's not, like, darty. Right. Like, it's just, like, it just is smooth when it turns, and it's it's nice. I love it. So, the turn-in is good, but not amazing. Like, the turn-in, the initial bite when you turn that wheel isn't yeah. sharp, but, but it's once, good for a street it's, car. It's, yeah, it's really yeah. good. Um, it's good once you are in the turn. Yeah. And, like, it's not going to break loose on you. Well, compared to the M550i, I felt like the BMW had a better initial turn-in. Yeah. Like, it would change directions a little quicker. But also, it wasn't as flat as this car is. Yeah, this car is very flat. Very flat in a cornering situation. Even yeah. just enjoying some twisties around your, you know, your neighborhood. Yeah. Um, another Which thing is odd I'm... because it's a bigger car. I feel like this is bigger than the M550i was. Oh, this is definitely bigger. But I feel like it's, this is smaller, like, uh, driver and passenger wise. And back there... Yeah. is bigger than yeah. the M550i, but up here is smaller. Which is rather odd, because technically I think this is a 2 plus 2, which means you've got two seats and two seats, not yeah. one bench in the back. Yeah. And it does seem more roomy back there. But yeah, because they've got their own air controls back there. I mean, yeah. I don't have passengers back there, so I don't really need a right. sedan, but I love sports sedans because they're just, they're sleepers, and it's yeah. so fun. I think it's an awesome car. For the size of it, it can do amazing things. It can. And if you look at the size of those rotors up front, holy cow. It is really cool. <laughs> like, wow, this thing stops. Like, it will impress you what this thing can do. Yeah. I wouldn't for let sure. the size fool you. Or no. It's, this is definitely more of a planted car than the BMW was. Yeah. The M550i. This is more solid for handling purposes. Whereas the BMW was a great driver's car, though. But it could also be more cushy. I would agree with that statement. I would say... One thing I do really like about this car is pretty much I only drive it in sport mode. Most of the time I only drive cars in sport mode, yeah. but this one is just fun. You hear the pops and burbles more, the engine comes awake, and then you've also got sport plus mode. Yeah. That thing is a beast. Like yeah. it just 
it just revs and it's so cool it's it's definitely harder to drive that on the street but it sounds really good it does yeah well i think what helps all this is the fact that the transmission's a dual clutch yes uh-huh i mean you really can't beat a, a dct for performance i think it's just so sharp and quick i do you know, love the dual clutch on this and porsche i think their pdk is the best uh -huh. in the market the bmw stuff's really really good but like here we're in a pretty sharp twist twisty turn situation and it's flat yeah yeah we've never had any problems with the pdk because no. i know that some of the older panameras they have problems with that but this car has never had an issue but the performance you get from this car for it's what, crazy it's insane yeah i will say one thing that i do love uh, about this car is it's got the wing that comes out automatically too and um, active aero yeah you can just leave it out which is what i do because i am not gonna lie i do not like the look of the back end of this car i don't like how it looks yeah. i mean it's definitely different looking like you don't see it every day so it catches your attention but it's just not something that i like because it looks older in my opinion but i think having the wing out all the time really helps with that definitely i agree yeah i think that's the one thing people you know didn't love about the car i think every car has something that you could point to and go yeah that's the achilles heel of that car right that's the thing yeah and it's the rear end of this car people look at it and go oh, i don't love it yeah. but i think you know the wing being open helps to break that shape up mm -hmm. it's just kind of curvy at the rear where curves usually look amazing but in the rear of this car they kind of no. they didn't quite you know they quite get that right i think they fix it curves. i think they fix it in the new panamera though oh i, think I it was will 17 say or 18 they, yeah they, the, whatever the refresh was they did the they did fix the rear where it looks super the sharp. tail lights yeah. on the new panamera are just absolutely beautiful yeah i agree like it's just it's gorgeous so i feel like in the m550i the power comes on as a surge of torque <laughs> right like because it's an automatic uh-huh you get that torque converter multiplying your torque and then it just rolls whereas this is kind of the opposite where it it builds but it builds more power it's, yeah it's quick it gets very quick and it goes towards the top end a little harder you know it's mm -hmm. like keeps pulling 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 yeah you get some cool pops and burbles in sport plus yeah in the bmw which is amazing for a factory setup but overall it's not as um, aggressive on the tone as this car is. I agree with that completely. Both inside and out. Yep. But I think the Porsche is well insulated because you don't hear a ton of it. No, you don't. For as loud as it actually is from the factory out back. Like, yeah. Yeah. For the longest time, I always wanted to get um, a different exhaust system for this car because I was just like, it's so quiet. And then I would get out with people that were driving around me and they were like, your car sounds really good. And I'm like, really? Because I can't hear it. So I think it's a good spot for a brake check. What do you think? I agree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> oh, now we got Bob in the driver's seat. <laughs> See how this goes. All right, Sophia, how's the dual clutch gonna love me? I think you're gonna love the dual clutch. I don't know if it's gonna love you. Manual mode. Wow. <laughs> it just pulls. It just That's goes. impressive. And the plus side is it's a Porsche. Okay, twisty time. Sport plus. Oh, it's getting louder. <laughs> Oh, the dual clutch is so good. Isn't it? The car is flat. The steering is precise. I know exactly where the wheels are, and I'm gonna roll into it. And we're pulling hard, <laughs> roll into the brakes. You know, when we do road course stuff, we talk to people about being comfortable when they're at the limit. And you can tell because the car will help make that. Yeah, it's And I'm comfortable. You. you can tell because of how I'm gripping the wheel. I'm not white knuckling, roll yeah. into the brakes, downshift. The turn in is good. It's just so smooth. It's crazy. It's handling the bumps like a champ. We roll out under throttle and it's good. Yep. Wow. I'm telling you, okay, compare it to the M550i, it's flatter, it's more controlled. There's a lot less unpredictable. It's not quite as fast. I think the M550i had more power, but this makes it all 100% usable. Mm -hmm. Like you could roll out, drop down the hammer, and yes, it's fast. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think on a road course, I don't really know if you would be, not that you would take this on a road course, but I don't know if you would really be able to tell the difference between the two, as like only if you're on a straightaway maybe, right? because of how good the handling in this car is compared to the five M550i. All right, Sophia, now it's time for us to give the Porsche Panamera Turbo some scores. So for me, the speed, speed-wise, I gave it an eight, and I feel like that's just because it could be a little bit faster, but on the top end, it's pretty quick. So for handling, I would give it a 10. It gets a 10 out of 10 because it just handles amazing. It's, it's flat, it's perfect. Um, braking, I would give it an eight and a half. The brakes are really good. I think they're perfect for the amount of weight there is on that car. So I gave it an eight and a half. Comfort, I gave it an eight. The seats are, they're not uncomfortable, but they could be more comfortable. So I gave it an eight. Um, buy it, I would give it a 10 because I did buy it. So I gave it a 10 out of 10. Um, and for quality, I gave it a nine out of 10. All right, speed, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half because I think it is faster than it is quick, which means it has a better top end pull than it does from a stop. So I like it, but it gets seven and a half there. Uh, I think with some tuning, it could be incredible. And I know tuning is available for these vehicles, so that's always an option. Uh, handling, uh, I'm gonna give it a 10, just like Sophia. I think it handles amazing, especially given its size. Um, braking, I am going to give it an eight and a half, just like Sophia, big old, Rotors and calipers up front get the job done really well. Comfort, I'm gonna give it a, uh, I'll give it an eight with Sophia. I'll stick with it on that, I agree with her. I think it's comfortable, not amazing. Quality, I'm gonna give it a 10. I think it's pretty amazing. And buy it, I would give it an eight because I would be hard pressed to buy this given its price over its competitors. All right, guys, now that we've done our test review on the Panamera, we are going to show you the car that we're replacing this with. That's it right. is also American. American. Both got rid of our German cars. They're gone. Something American. Well, this will be gone. But Should we tell them that it's in the same family? It's the same They're family. They're in the same family. Yep. We're going to make a lot of stupid content in the future with these two cars. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. We'll stupid see you being. There. Like stupid great. Stupid great. Ready for the reveal? ready what will Sophia get rid of her Porsche for <laughs> what will you think of it is it a dumb idea is it a great idea mm. some people knows. don't like the German cars so they might think it's like an upgrade yeah they might think it's an upgrade it might be interior wise it's definitely a downgrade but at the end of the day it's all about performance so well, there. we'll see you there You're back in the Camaro. That I have now purchased. So, so. the tuning school owned the Camaro. Yeah. And then she liked it so much, she decided to sell her Porsche. Yeah. Once I and got buy on the Camaro. Yeah. Pretty much. Once I got on the road course in this thing, I was like, uh, "There's just no way that I can not have this." It's good. Yes, it's amazing. The Porsche is not meant to go on the road course like that. No. So. But this is a good driver too. It is a really good driver. It's definitely smaller, but. Um, I've driven it before, so I can get used to it. Yeah. It sounds amazing. It People does. know when you're coming, which I don't mind that. All right, guys, we will see you in the next episode of Red, White, and Burnouts, where the Camaro SS1 LE and the C8 Corvette are going to go head to head at the racetrack. And we're going to see who can win and who does better. I don't know. It's going to be so close. It's going to be very close, but I think because this car is meant for the road course and the C8 is a mid engine car, I think. Sophia's going to drive the Camaro. Yes. And I'm going to drive the C8. Yes. I really don't know which one's going to do better. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very close. But it's going to be awesome. We'll see you guys there. We'll see you there. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. And in the next one, we will be having a... Uh, uh, why did you do that? I think you, I liked what you were doing, though. And go 
with like epic track battle. I'm not gonna say epic track battle. Epic have... track battle. That's more of a Gen X thing, I guess. You guys wanna know? Tell Just them. tell them! We. I can't do it. Okay, let's start it over. Guys, right there. Oh my gosh, he's probably like, what the heck? Yeah, heck he's staring at us. What should we do? <laughs> I guess let's go find another spot. <laughs> Welcome to the Mustang. I got my Mach 1 finally. <laughs> okay, we ready? Boop. Is it more of a beep or a boop? Like this show? Want more? Then head to WatchPTTV.com, the new 100% free PowerTube TV streaming network. Home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web.